Hey, I'm Pastor Fred. Welcome to the follow through. Great to have you with us. Hit that subscribe button. Share this with a friend. We are here listening to God. We're also living for Him. And today we got this great picture of God's victory in Revelation 12, um, verse 11. I know a lot of folks think of Revelation as a scary book. Uh, it's it's uh, real shocking. A lot of people will use it to sort of threaten you. Like, hey, we, you know, if you don't want to have to deal with this, you better get right with God or something like that. And um, I think it was meant for Christians, for other believers who were undergoing intense persecution. They were, they were being asked to, to give their lives for their faith. That's what they were up against. Uh, and, and so John is given this, this, this vision by God to help them, to encourage them, to help us and to encourage us as we struggle with the things that we have to deal with in life. Right, so, so Revelation gives you a series of pictures and it's, and it's, again, picture after picture showing you that Jesus did indeed win the victory. As Romans 8 says, we, we indeed, nothing will separate us from the love of God that's ours in Christ Jesus. And so we have this picture of it, there's a war uh, in heaven, right? And so it's, it's Michael and, the, and his angels are fighting against the dragon, right? And the dragon is the devil, he's Satan, he's the deceiver, he's the accuser, he's all these things. But he's been thrown down. It's been cast out. Okay, so this isn't some battle that will take, but this is about it's already been taking place on that cross. When Jesus suffered, when he died, he totally destroyed the power of death. He totally destroyed what the enemy could do. And so this picture of, of the people of God uh, up there, you know, kind of in glory, is that they have conquered him by the, they have conquered the devil by the blood of the lamb, by, by the blood of Jesus and by the word of their testimony. Why? Because they love their lives even unto death. And what, and what John is saying there, what God is trying to say to us, these people just loved their life in Jesus. Like that changed everything and, and nothing else mattered for them. In fact, that gave meaning to, to their family life, that gave meaning to their, to their work, it gave meaning to everything else because things were horrific back then for them. If you were a believer, it was illegal and you, and you would be arrested and you would probably, you know, at the best case scenario, you lost your job. Worst case scenario, you, you lost your life. And these are the people that had lost their lives for the sake of the gospel. And the question for us today is, how far would we go? What, would, what are we willing to give up? To, to let people know there's just this simple truth that Jesus loves them. That God really does care, that there really is hope. That's the point, that's our message, right? And, it, and it's one that, that I pray that all of us, if, if we say, hey, I'm a believer in Jesus Christ, that's our, that's our line in the sand, right? That's, our, that, that's where we stand, that's what we are about. And we want everyone to know that. So I pray that, that if you're hearing that message, that you know you know He has won this victory, and that is your victory over death and the grave because of Jesus. And He gives that to you freely, all right? So I pray that that changes everything for you today and, and encourages you in Jesus. We'll see you next time for another follow-through.